Hello subscriber and viewer, we are in the next tutorial of Android tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to clear how you can use weight sum and layout to weight attributes of the linear layout. In last tutorial, we have seen the presentation on that. If you, if you have seen that tutorial, you will easily understand and if you didn't see also, then you have to focus it carefully. So here I am going into first coding part. Here I have already used horizontal orientation. Okay, you also use because first we are going to use it horizontal orientation. I am placing three components, three button components, first, second and third. After placing this, checking the code, bunch of code. So here already by default, the weight value is created and each one containing one weight okay <coughs> here first i will specify android and weight sum attribute every for making everything clear three after making three <coughs> and you observe here code this coding is automatically added so here we will check the design part okay and here again you have to do some changes first i want to change text suppose here i am writing a this is the first button so here i want a this is my second button so here it is better if i write b and this is the third button so here you should write C you can refer any text and as per we have mentioned in the previous tutorial whenever you use such kind of output <coughs> and if you are using weight sum and linear weight the width value will be zero so here weight sum is 3 because we have created 3 part and weight value is 1 because each part is going to occupy is going to hold only the one part of the total space. So here you should write width value equal to 0 dp. Whenever you use horizontal there will be no role of width so always you write width value is 0 dp. That's it. Now you have to check your output will look proper and now we are changing the orientation also. There will be no problem with orientation. Here it's landscape. You see it is also looking proper. There is no problem coming back into portrait. So in this way you can specify the weight. Again I am going into coding section. Again we are playing with the bunch of code. Here in the weight sum, I am changing its value. Suppose I am writing 10 <coughs> and out of that 10 part, I want to give suppose one part to first button, second part to second button and maximum space I want to specify to third button. Then simply go in weight and here you should write 8. Now go in designing part and observe. Here I have assigned the less weight so it will occupy less space. I have assigned less space to B also and it occupy the less space. We have assigned equal spacing, equal weight, weight to both of these components so they are looking equal. And we have occupied 8 value. We have assigned 8 dp values. You observe the code again. Here we have assigned 8 value. Okay, The weight value is 8 out of 10. So that's why it is taking the more space. I maximize from preview also. You observe it is taking the more space. Why it is taking more? Because the weight value is 10. Out of 10 I have assigned 8 and remaining 2 I have assigned here. So it is occupying the equal space. So in this way you can use the horizontal. Now 
I am going from horizontal into vertical. For your understanding, I am doing it from beginning means I will remove all these buttons. So now here in the designing part once again I will place three buttons. Now here we are in the coding side and we have the vertical orientation. So in vertical orientation this is my first button so I am referring E so that you will not get any confusion. This is my second button. So it's B. This is my third button. So it's C. After this, I am going to specify weight same. So here it is already weight same and here suppose it is 3. Then <coughs> here Android, you just write W layout weight will come you should assign one just copy this code for the next button see it carefully again I copy this for the third button now the each one is taking same space and here for the vertical space we use this attribute here you observe Android, Layout Weight and here Layout Height. So whenever you use Vertical there is no role of height so you specify 0 dp that would be better. For the next button also height value should be 0 dp. Here also height value 0 dp. You keep one thing in your mind whenever you use vertical then height value zero, uh, will be 0 dp. Why 0? Because the vertical gap is there and it doesn't have any role because we are using weight sum and layout weight so that's why height value zero, uh, should be 0 dp. So you observe the output in the design part. It is looking very awesome and here I am changing landscape no problem here going into portrait again I am going in coding section and write 10 for your understanding here I want last one take more space so it is 8 observe the output carefully it will look like that means you have to just play with that value weight sum and layout weight suppose the weight sum value is 10 means we have suppose uh, 10 spacing and out of that 10 I want to give only one spacing to first button and I want to give only one part to second button and remaining 8 part I want to give suppose third button so ultimately it will take the more space. So in this way <coughs> I hope you properly understood now how to use weight sum and layout weight. It's very simple but I request you you should see my previous presentation and this one and after that you have to practice and while practice first you use horizontal then you use vertical and whatever the necessary bunch of code is there that I also mentioned in my previous presentation. So I hope friend you understood weight sum and layout weight and you understood how to use and you also understood what is the use of weight sum and layout weight. Because if you don't use weight sum and layout weight, you will get the problem while switching from portrait into landscape mode. So that's why weight sum and layout weight is necessary to use. So here we finish the tutorial and I hope you understood. Thank you.